Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week the sun is in the sign of Libra, beautiful Libra. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. The moon will travel in the signs of Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. It's Islamic New Year on Sunday and Rosh Hashanah on Monday. This week the energies continue to be high and beautiful, but we still have to be a little cautious because Wednesday, Mars, planet of war and energy, will make a square, a bad aspect to lucky Jupiter. Be careful not to overdo things and promise more than we can deliver. That's the secret this week. On Friday, Pluto, planet of deep transformation, makes also a bad aspect square to the sun. But with the help of Mercury, planet of communication in the sign of Virgo, that enters peaceful sign of Libra on Thursday, it will definitely balance things out and help us to restore some kind of balance, some kind of justice, some kind of fairness in our personal life and also in our collective lives. It's a very good week to smoke the peace pipe. Ta-da! So there's hope in the air, so let's enjoy it and you'll see everything in life, you know, when it's too crazy, eventually it gets back to normal. And this week, although there's a few challenges, all in all, it's definitely getting better, especially in the political world. Let's start makes sense. Libra, Libra, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We love you, cutie cuties of the Zodiac. Mercury entering your sign close to Jupiter brings you closer to your family and friends. You feel confident. And Mars and Pluto in your home sector may bring positive changes in personal life. In career, you are protected and very lucky. Expect to be laughing all the way to the bank by the end of the year. You might have to work harder, maybe, and do things in a different way, but success definitely awaits. Time is on your side. You know the song, time is on your side. Friends support you greatly on the weekend. It brings a very high spiritual kind of energy, positive spiritual thoughts. Enjoy. Your magical color, pink, lucky numbers, 29, 45. Scorpios, Mercury entering your spiritual sector bring you popularity, deepness, and charisma. And unusual circumstances at work may slow you down a little bit, but don't worry, you are moving in the right direction. And expect a few changes definitely in the work area. And uh, you are definitely lucky if you're traveling or negotiating or closing some deal with the bank, you get your way. Be cautious on the road though. Watch what you say and be kind in all your relationships and friendship and romance because you have a sharp tongue this week. People need your understanding now more than ever. So the more you are cool and you don't use your sting, the more popular and amazing you will do. And I think you're gonna do just that. Now the weekend is pretty sweet and cozy and making love would be a very nice therapy. Your magical color red, lucky numbers 3 and 21. Sagittarius, the lucky one, Mercury entering your social sector. Pluto and Mars in your financial sector bring you new unexpected ways, ideas to make a better living, to make it, uh, your life in a different matter. You've been doing a lot of transition. You remember Saturn is on your sign right now. So it means it helps you to reinvent yourself. So follow the message of the universe. Don't resist it. Just read the writing on the walls and have faith, not fear. Be confident, not doubtful. A good time also to reflect upon what you really want of your life and what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind. If you're stuck in some stupid relationship or career that you're not happy, man, do something about it. You exude confidence this week and inspire people. You are also doing better, better for your health and on the weekend, love is definitely present. So enjoy, you deserve it. Your magical color, purple, lucky numbers 21, 48. Capricorn, ta-da! You're lucky this week, my dear. Pluto, Mars in your sign and Mercury entering your career sector brings hope 
and good fortune protection in all your negotiations and projects. Be confident you are definitely on the right track. You are walking more on the path of the heart and it makes a very big difference. Remember the heart is who you are, not your mind. In love, a new paradigm awaits. Whatever you're doing is going to be giving you some form of happiness one way or the other. Loved ones are also definitely more understanding and friends and family super supportive. On the weekend, count your blessings, my love. Your magical color lilac lucky numbers 17 and 56. Aquarius, Mercury entering your karmic sector makes you inquisitive, intuitive, and pretty charming. Some confusion clear up in career this week for sure, and you go like, ah. For the next few months, think positive, extraordinary, bold, because now important people are definitely watching you, and they're watching every little move you're making. Your success is guaranteed, but you need to show up. In love, the truth will set you free. On the weekend, love definitely will find you wherever you are. Just surrender. That's what you need now, is loving. Your magical color we share lucky numbers 21 and 33. Pisces, Mercury entering your shared resources sector make your life more exciting, more adventurous. Stars also bring you hope, popularity, resourcefulness. In career, a good time to take initiative and truly, truly push on your projects and make the changes that you need to make in order to be it the way you want it to be. I mean, you can't wait on other people do it. Do it. Affirm yourself with a smile, of course. People are willing to help if you ask. And it's all about collaboration this week. So go right ahead. Teamwork is the key. On the weekend, spirituality and healing await. Your magical color, turquoise. Lucky numbers, 3 and 15. Aries, Mercury entering your relationship sector brings some charm, popularity, a sharp tongue, and also luck. Element of timing is definitely everywhere and it's very important, especially in career and finances. Somehow you know how to make your move and it's time to really do it while the iron is hot and just shoot for the start. That's what you are, a Jane and a Tarzan. So go for it. Try to spend more quality time with family and loved ones. They need you now. And do things slowly. Avoid mistakes. And listen to other people to also what they have to say. The weekend brings a lot of smiles and joy to live in your life. Your magical color, red, lucky number 6 and 48. Taurus, Mercury entering your work sector brings some positive changes in career. The key is to believe in yourself and push on your dreams. You can also move mountains now. A great time to understand the hidden meaning of what people say and do and want. Virgo Cancer play an important role in your life and on the weekend it's time to relax, to treat yourself to a good time and love is definitely there. So enjoy your magical color green lucky numbers 11, 22. Gemini, Gemini, Mercury, your ruler entering your creative sector bring you some form of protection and wisdom, inspiration. An agreement is reached with a mate or, or business partner or some group association. The focus is on cooperation, good health, also doing your exercise, taking care of yourself and get things done in the career. Don't worry about what people think and don't worry about finances. Somehow, all the delays or any challenges right now, they're temporary and actually they're all blessing in disguise. On the weekend, do something fun out of the ordinary to spoil yourself. You need a little boosty boosty for you. Your magical color yellow, like in numbers 12 and 33. Cancers, you will feel a big shift in the energies this week. Yuppie, I'm a Cancer, I love it. Mercury entering your home sector brings some kind of peace and a big boost of encouragement and enthusiasm in your project and also at home in your friendship there's a more flow you can catch your breath and move forward and see clearly what's out there your creativity is absolutely spectacular and you find extraordinary solutions and marvelous ideas in everything you do in career you may have to rethink some strategies but Guess what? You'll be brilliant at it. On the weekend, relax, meditate, and listen to your soul.
for guidance. Symmetrical color, pink. Lucky number is 9 and 18. Leo, Mercury entering your communication sector brings a higher intelligence, lots of energy, lots of royalty. This is a good time to reflect on your health, on your personal life. Are you in perfect shape? Are you happy? Are you doing the right thing for yourself? At any moment, you can take initiative and make the changes. Only one way to go. Follow your big heart, not your head. That gets you into trouble. If you're single, Cupid has a surprise for you. Please go out and have fun and be cute and sexy. The focus is also on being the best you could be this week. I'm telling you, when you go out anywhere, make sure you look fabulous because people are watching. Happiness is non-negotiable for you. This is what the stars say to you, my cutie cutie royal beings. And at work, expect to be quite busy, but to get rewarded on the weekend, it's very warm, very peaceful. Your magical color gold, like numbers 8 and 45. Virgo is Mercury entering your financial sector. Mercury is your ruler, right? It brings you luck, protection, and also recognition. In career, definitely be your best. You attract gains, promotions, fabulous new jobs for some people who are, if you're looking for a job, that could be it this week, you'll find the one you wanted. But you get some kind of breakthrough in the career. In love, friends and mate want to make you happy. So please ask and you shall receive. At home, be patient, understanding and generous. Well, that's what you are anyways. The people love that about you. On the weekend, pamper yourself, treat yourself to a good time and don't stay home. Your magical color, blue, lucky numbers, 422. And now is your wizard affirmation of this very, very nice, I know there's a few little challenges, but altogether pretty pleasant week. Well, in life, I'm telling you, life is perfect. You're perfect. I know the divine in you, the spark in you, that's perfect. This is what you should focus on, on the sun, not the cloudy you, the human you. So everything that happens in life is always for the better good. You get it? Life is perfect, you're perfect, and it's always for the better good. Be good now. I love you. Bye.